this is your Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to construct trigonometric ratio table in a very easy trick. Okay, so we have titled it as an aeroplane passes between 0 and 1. Steps to be followed. We are having three steps to follow. So let's start. Trigonometric ratio table. So first thing what you have to do is we have to consider the two numbers 0 and 1. So at the first left you'll write 0 and at the last right you'll write 1. Okay. So now we'll follow the steps. So first one average of 0 and 1. What is the average of 0 and 1? 0 plus 1 by 2 which is equals to 1 by 2. So the second number will be 1 by 2 which is in between 0 and 1. Okay. Between 0 and 1. 1 by 2 is between 0 and 1. Good. Next second step. An aeroplane passes through 1 by 2. Suppose an aeroplane passes through 1 by 2. Then it splits into two fractions. Okay. When an aeroplane passes through 1 by 2. 1 by 2 splits into two fractions. So I am considering Z here to make you understand. Okay. So now 1 falls at numerator of first fraction and 2 falls set denominator of second fraction okay so now we are going for third step empty space empty space so here we can find two empty spaces right so, in that empty space, what we are going to do? We are going to construct a shelter of the form square root. So, what we have done here? We are constructing a shelter in the form of square root. Okay. So, where, where 1 plus 1 equals to 2, 2 members. Two people can live under this shelter. And here, this 2 is greater than 1. Okay? 2 is greater than 1. Got it? Two is greater than this 1. Likewise, here, 2 plus 1 equals to 3. So, 3 members can live under this shelter where 3 is greater than number 2. Okay. So, we got 2 fractions. 1 by root 2 and root 3 by 2. So, write the first fraction 1 by root 2 and the second fraction root 3 by 2. So, this is our trigonometric ratios of sine function. Okay. Since we got sine function, trigonometric ratios for sine function. So, we can find the trigonometric ratios for the remaining functions. Let's see how to find. Okay. Angle ratio. Zero degrees, thirty degrees, forty five degrees, 
सिक्सटी डिग्रीज एंड नाइन्टी डिग्रीज So we know for sine function zero one by two one by root two root three by two and one. Okay, simply you just do average of zero and one. You'll get one by two, and then split this one by two into one for the first uh, numerator of the first fraction. And two place the two in the denominator of second fraction, and uh, simply write root two and root three in the denominator and in the numerator of first and second fractions. Okay, easily. Now we write for cos. Okay, just now write in reverse order. One. Root three by two, one by two, one by one by root two, one by two, and zero. So next we'll write for tan. Since we know that tan equals to sine by cos. Okay, angle theta, right? Tan theta equals to sine theta by cos theta. Good. Sine theta by cos theta zero by one is zero. One by two by root three by two. One by two over root three by two. Two two gets cancelled and finally you get one by root three. Next one by root two. Divided by one by root two, one. Next, root three by two. Root three by two divided by one by two. Two two gets cancelled and finally you'll get root three. And one by zero, which is undefined infinity. Okay, so you got for tan now. You can write for cot, cot theta, reverse, reverse of tan. So write, write the ratios in reverse. Theta, cot theta, cot zero degrees will be infinity. Cot thirty will be root three. Cot forty five one. Cot sixty one by root three, and cot zero is Zero. Okay. Easy, right? Next, for secant, for secant theta, secant theta is equals to one by cos theta. One by cos. One by one is One. Now, one by root three by two, which is equals to two by three. So secant thirty is two by root three, and secant forty five is one by one by root two. So, which is equals to root two. Next, second sixty is one by one by two, which is equals to two. Next, second ninety is one by zero, which is undefined infinity. Okay. Now we'll find for cosecant. Cosecant theta. Cosecant zero is now we are going to write in reverse, reverse of secant infinity two 
root 3 root 2 2 by root 3 and 1 reverse order okay so this is the ratios of cosecant secant cot tan cos and sine for 0 degrees 30 degrees 45 degrees 60 degrees and 90 degrees so here we have followed the steps all the three steps to find the ratios or to construct the trigonometric ratio table so we have constructed a trigonometric ratio table in this video using a technique by title an aeroplane passes between 0 and 1 hope this video will help you out in finding trigonometric ratios if you have any doubts just leave your comments see you in the next video until then bye bye